Hey guys, back again at the workbench, working on this Play Steam Engine model kit with my ever helpful partner, Nathan. Hi. Let's get started. Ooh, lots of parts. Okay, I guess it's fine. Look like you're having some trouble there. Yeah, I am. <sighs> All right, that's definitely one. Is it good? Almost. There. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Let's spin it. It could. And it's done that's right Nathan it is done and it was a very hard build wasn't it yeah yeah it, it took a lot of time right mm-hmm right. and there's all of these wires now if you look here at the diagram all of these wires are for all the different functions of it but one of the things that we ran into is after it was built we realized that a few of the parts were missing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, right here on the cylinder and the uh, dry rod assembly, there is a couple of missing parts that were not inside the package. So we were not able to complete that part of it. As well to that, when we built the entire thing, we realized that the wheels, even though they're supposed to move with the gearbox, for some reason in all of the wiring, it just does not work and uh, we can't figure out why everything's put together right but it's just not working when it comes to the wheel movement mm -hmm. but let's turn this thing on and uh, see how it works go ahead Nathan so we flip that switch that turns it on the next switch activates the firebox you can kind of see how that's lit up how about the whistle pretty cool right mm-hmm mm -hmm. and we really wish that this thing actually worked because even though you can't really tell the cylinder would actually go in and out but another cool option with this is if you would like it to it can also steam so by taking this part right here and opening it up it swings open just like that if we put in this little canister right here thank you Mm -hmm. and you fill it with water and there's a little flue right here suck it up and it sits right inside that hole once it's closed eh, there we go all right click the switch probably can't see the steam very well But it is steaming. Yeah. 
so in all, I'd say that this was a pretty interesting build. It's a very challenging build, especially considering on the box it's recommended for a 10 year old. And my almost 30 year old self had a pretty hard time giving you a hand with it, didn't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of little screws involved. And uh, luckily it comes with a magnetic screwdriver to put those in. But the screws are kind of like jumping around all over the place, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. As for the longevity of this, is it going to last a long time? Uh, I really don't know. Uh, probably one of the main problems is, especially with its steaming, uh, is it does leak. Uh, the water does end up leaking out of it. It'll come out the bottom and there's a lot of electronics, a lot of wiring in here. There's a circuit board, something that probably shouldn't get wet. So the real question here is, is this going to be something that you would want to do with your child? Or if maybe you have an older child that might want to do it. Personally, I would recommend this for a 16 year old or a 17 year old, not not a 10 year old and Nathan's nine. And do you think, do you think a 10 year old should do this? No, no, <laughs> not at all. So especially with all the buttons and stuff, right? And technology. Yeah. There's a lot of technology in it. That's right. Mm -hmm. But it really is a fun build, especially if you're doing it with your kid or uh, maybe you have a couple of kids that might want to work on this together and, you know, use some of their brain power. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this review. As always, I'm Sweet Lou. And I'm Nathan. We're going to see y'all next time, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs>